After running close to our symmetric 2% objective for most of last year, inflation declined in the first quarter. Data since then shows some pickup. Participants broadly see inflation moving back up toward our 2% objective, but at a slower pace than had been expected. The central tendency for 2019 core inflation, which emits volatile food and energy components, is between 1.7 and 1.8%. Setting aside short-term fluctuations, committee participants expressed concerns about the pace of inflation's return to 2%. Wages are rising, as noted above, but not at a pace that would provide much upward impetus to inflation. Moreover, weaker global growth may continue to hold inflation down around the world. We are firmly committed to our symmetric 2% inflation objective, and we are well aware that inflation weakness that persists even in a healthy economy could precipitate a difficult to arrest downward drift in longer run inflation expectations. Because there are no definitive measures of inflation expectations, we must rely on imperfect proxies. Market-based measures of inflation compensation have moved down since our May meeting, and some survey-based expectations measures are near the bottom of their historic ranges. Combining these factors with the risks to growth already noted, participants expressed concerns about a more sustained shortfall of inflation. Overall, our policy discussions focused on the appropriate response to the uncertain environment. The projections of appropriate policy show that many participants believe that some cut in the federal funds rate will be appropriate in the scenario that they see as most likely. Though some participants wrote down policy cuts and others did not, our deliberations made clear that a number of those who wrote down a flat rate path agree that the case for additional accommodation has strengthened since our May meeting. This added accommodation would support economic activity and inflation's return to our objective. Uncertainties surrounding the baseline outlook have clearly risen since our last meeting. It's important, however, that monetary policy not overreact to any individual data point or short-term swing in sentiment. Doing so would risk adding even more uncertainty to the outlook. Thus, my colleagues and I will be looking to see whether these uncertainties will continue to weigh on the outlook and we will use our tools as appropriate to sustain the expansion. Thank you. I will be uh, pleased to take your questions.